Hi children, today you are going to learn 6th class, 5th chapter that is measures of lines and angles. So, before you are going to learn this chapter exercises, you have to learn what is lines, how many types of lines are there and what about the angles, how many types of angles are there, about corresponding angles and transversal angles. So, you have to see that video, that video link I will keep in the description. Please watch that video then come to this exercise number 5.1 so that you can understand very better way so let us start our exercise 5.1 so give any five examples of line segments observed in your classroom so think that you are in a classroom just give five examples of line segments which you observe suppose see that the edges of board is a line segment a line segment has a two end points is known as a line segment. Suppose marker is a line segment. Okay, the edge of test book and the edges of door of your classroom. So that are the line segments. So you can give the many line segments examples which you can see around your classroom. The second one, why it is better to use divider than ruler while comparing two line segments. Suppose there is a line segment here AB. AB is a line segment. Normally, what we do is we'll take a if I ask you to measure this line segment, if you will you will take a mess so ruler and you will measure that what is the length of this line segment. If you use a ruler, so you may get a small errors because we may observe in the angular view this. So we will observe from the left side or we may observe from the right side but not will not be observed from the straight directly so with the, if you use a ruler you may get a small errors in the measurement of line segment but here divider is more better than this using a ruler because a divider will observe, always observe the line segment with the center point so in this way if you enlarge this divider you keep on the edges of this line segments and see that this you keep on a ruler now. So see exactly it's measured because there is no angular view if you use a divider. But if you use a ruler we may get a, some angular view to observe the line segment. So we may get a, a small dis, uh, difference in the length of line segment. If you use a ruler, we get a small difference in the length of line segment. But with a divider, we won't get that difference on the line segment. Okay, the next third one. The third question is here. Third question is that measure the line segments in the figure given below and arrange them in the ascending order of their lengths. So suppose here they have given one line segment A, B, C, D, and E. So these are the these are line segment they have they have given some points A, B, C, D, E on this line segments. So what we need to do is what you need to do is you are going to take a, a ruler and measure the line segments. What A B equal to how many centimeters you got here? So let me check here. I got 2.1 centimeter. Then BC equal to what? And CD equal to how many centimeters? This is what you need to check it. Take a ruler and measure the length of line segments are given below here. Okay. They will be giving you some uh, what you need to find. They have given here. You need to find out AB, AC, AD, AE, BC, BD, so and so on. Here they have given what you need to measure. That length of line segments you need to measure either if it is possible you go with the divider and measure the length of line segment if not you go for a ruler without angular view so at the top view you observe you will get a correct one so next here the fourth question fourth question a midpoint of a b line segment here there is an a b line segment a and b Sveta and here 
ये भी लाइफ सेगमेंट रेशमा द मिड पॉइंट इज लोकेटेड बाय श्वेता एंड रेशमा लाइक दिस सो द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ ए बी इज लोकेटेड बाय श्वेता एंड रेशमा लाइक दिस सो विच वन डू यू फील करेक्ट एंड मेजर सो विच वन यू विल फील करेक्ट एंड वाई सी दैट इफ यू मेजर श्वेता वन द ए सी लाइफ सेगमेंट मेजर मेजर द ए सी लेंथ इ Suppose you get a two centimeter, then measure the BC one with the take a scale and measure it. Suppose here AB equal to I got three centimeter and CB equal to that means BC equal to I got six centimeter. So here AC is not equal to BC. Here AC is not equal to BC. That means here C is not a midpoint. So Sweta located wrong. Sweta located wrong midpoint. Midpoint wrong on AB line segment. So if you observe here. when reshma will be located the right one yes so here you get 5.5 cm and 5.5 cm i got it this you draw your own measurements accordingly from the test book you go through that in the test book itself you measure with the scale here ac equal to bc so here c is a midpoint as reshma located midpoint on midpoint is correct on ab line segment ab line segment this is what the answer the fourth one the fifth one is a fifth question is a just a general question you will read it so that you will observe the line segments in the following figures so you can see here some pictures in the pictures we have to observe the line segments that's it so you go through that question you get answer so i hope you understood this exercise number 5.1 very small exercises in the 5.2 we'll learn some more so thank you for watching this video thank you.